previously on Lost World. Dr. Grant? Dr. Grant, where are you? I'm right here, Nick. Don't worry, I was just scanning the area with my binocular crotch. What was that? Are you kidding? Haven't you seen the first four movies? Dinosaurs and man. Two species separated by 65 million years of evolution have just been suddenly thrown back into the mix together and oh god, I can't even make it out anymore. I'd rather be Merlin right now or in a blood orgy in space. Uh, yeah, uh, uh, yeah, uh. yeah, what he said. <laughs> raptors. Why did it have to be raptors? Uh, it's worse, Doc. They're Owen Wilson raptors. Wow, wow, wow. Wow, wow. 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 Ah, oh, shit. They're after my career. Um, I, uh, 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 um, run. Wow. Wow. Ah, want some fucking coke We're trapped. Quick, Doc, use your flare. We can't, Nick. We didn't come with accessories. So, uh, 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 uh. The T-Rex is attacking the Triceratops, and the Raptors are attacking the Pachycephalosaur! Run! Oh, God! Oh! Hey, viewers! Welcome back to the Jurassic Park Legacy Reviews. What? I mean, can a guy like me have a bit of fun once in a while? Yep. Today we're taking a look at the vast amount of Jurassic Park toys. Why? Because the toy line from this series is freaking awesome. Honestly, the Jurassic Park toy line are probably some of the best toys ever made. Up there with the likes of Star Wars, G.I. Joe, and several others. Now granted my collection is a little smaller than others because when I was a kid, I had a mountain of these toys growing up, mostly from the Lost World line. However, about 12 years ago, I made the mistake of selling them at my local garage sale. Yeah, to quote Ian Malcolm on this one. Taking dinosaurs off this island is the worst idea in the long, sad history of bad ideas. However, thanks to the hype I had with Jurassic World, I've been managing to recollect the toys I grew up on, and I'd figured I'd show off some of my collection on this episode. But first, let's start off with a little history. It seems even before Jurassic Park was in production, Universal knew the film was going to be a smash hit, so they already began finding ways to market the film, and with no surprise, a toy line seemed like a brilliant idea. And back in the 80s and 90s, one of the top toy makers in the world was, of course, Kenner, who gained that recognition thanks to the success of Star Wars back in 1977. In 1989, they had a major hit producing a line of action figures for Tim Burton's Batman, so Universal decided to give them the reins in creating the Jurassic Park line. And as you can imagine, with the movie being a hit, kids went crazy for the toys. There was really no escaping the hype the film had. One of the first line of toys they made was, of course, a set of action figures of the characters from the film. Now granted, no pun intended, I only own a few of the many human characters, but these figures aren't half bad for the late 90s. Most of, if not all, the figures had cool gimmicks and gadget accessories, as well as some tiny baby dinosaurs. Funny enough, the only character that never got an action figure was John Hammond of all people. Seriously, what the hell? He's the brains of the organization, and they don't even give him an action figure? But thankfully, if you're lucky, some fans took the initiative to making custom figures for sale, so I would say look around if you can. Really spectacular, spared no expense. There were also playsets and vehicles made, but I unfortunately don't own any since I wasn't a fan of them and I felt as a kid they took too much space. But hell, the figures are nothing, honestly. No kids really gave a shit about these guys. We only wanted the dinosaurs. And like I said, these were and still are some of the best goddamn dinosaur toys ever made. Aside from the likes of the Safari and Papo figures, nothing has come close to the awesomeness of these toys 65 million years in the making. Aside from Tycho's Dino Riders. Taurosaurus and Tyrannosaurus Rex with figures, battle gear, and motorized walking action. Dino Riders! What? Sure, I wasn't an 80s kid, but come on, these things are still pretty damn close to being as good as the Jurassic Park toys. 
First, let's take a look at the basic figures. Most of these you can find pretty common at garage sales or thrift stores. One of the things I've always seemed to have are doubles or triples of the same figures. For example, things like the Dimantrodons or the Raptors. The Dimantrodons and Raptors are pretty cool with its snapping jaws actions, and the color schemes are nice as well as accurate to the movie. I also have three baby T-Rex figures from the Lost World. When you find these guys loose, it's common to just get the figures without the accessories. For the baby T-Rex, it came with a cast and muzzle, since its gimmick, like in the movie, was its injured broken leg. However, that gimmick may end up being a reality since one of the figures I own's legs is completely broken off and I had to repair it with hot glue. Some of the other action figures had some cool individual gimmicks. For example, one of the Dilophosaurus figures you could fill with water and brand other figures. The Pachycephalosaurus could ram its head, and even the Coelophysis had a bendable feature. And yeah, I know he's a little dirty, but he makes good use for an old carcass for your larger figures to feed on. The Pteranodon is actually one of my favorites, and it's fun to hang him on a fishing line to make it more fun and creative in play. Wait a minute, why does this guy look so familiar? Uh, holy crap, it's the Pteranodon from Toy Story! Yeah, remember when Sid took the head off the doll Janie and replaced it with the Pteranodon's head? It's the same frickin' figure, except it's enlarged! Well, that was common for Toy Story. Even Rex, voiced by Wallace Shawn, was based on the T-Rex from Dino Riders. INCONCEIVABLE! I used to own the large Pteranodon from The Lost World, and that figure in of itself seemed like a successor to the original. Plus, they made a smaller version with the original Kenner figure for Alan Grant, and as a young kid, I remember always using that as a Petri figure when playing The Land Before Time. Then there's this one from Jurassic Park 3, which I don't even know what the gimmick is. All you do is flick his jaws and neck around. Even standing him up is a pain in the ass. And yeah, once Hasbro took over the license after buying Kenner, many toy lines suffered major changes, and most of the later Jurassic Park figures had a hard time standing up. This JP3 T-Rex I found at a local thrift shop actually came from the T-Rex vs. Spinosaurus battle game. Yeah, remember those things back in the late 90s? There was one made for the Lost World involving raptors, which is pretty cool, and it was nice to be able to take the figures off and interact with the other toys. The next line of figures were the electronic ones. They look pretty cool, but most of them come off as a little more cartoony than the other figures, like the Raptor for instance. It doesn't even match up to the basic figure. The ones from Jurassic Park 3 are the strangest ones though. These figures don't seem half bad, but when Jurassic Park 3's toy line came out, some of these figures were the only species you could get like the Triceratops. The Raptors don't look half bad, but they sound nice. I used to own the T-Rex, Pteranodon, Dilophosaurus, and they were pretty fun to play with as well. But then there's ones like the Brachiosaurus, which for many fans was a major disappointment, since there never had been a proper sized figure in any of the toy lines. Even with the Jurassic World toys, they never made an Apatosaurus figure. I mean, I get it's a massive animal and it might be a tad expensive, but it shouldn't be that hard to manufacture. The closest thing you can get to is an original plushie or Papo figure, but even then it's way too small. You know what? Fuck it. If you need a proper sized sauropod figure, get the definitely Dinosaurs Apatosaurus figure. But thankfully, just recently at San Diego Comic Con 2018, it was announced that Mattel will be making a proper sized Brachiosaurus figure for a future line. So count me in and buying that one. Don't get cheap on me, Dodson. However, the biggest issue with most of these electronic figures was the batteries. These tiny bastards are ridiculous. I get they're small figures, but these things are a pain in the ass to work with. They're as ridiculous as the flashlight camera batteries in the third movie. God, I forgot how stupidly impractical that was. Anyway, aside from the smaller ones, I did own a lot of the Lost World figures like the Raptor, Parasaurolophus, and even the Chasmosaurus. Hey, remember the Chaos Effect line in the Archaeopteryx Raptor that made the sound like it was saying, uh-oh? That thing was pretty cool. Figures and vehicles sold separately. All right, well, we're getting a bit off track. Now it's time to take a look at the main course of this toy line with, of course, the big guys.
Now, Kenner had a real knack in making some high quality scale figures for the Jurassic Park toy line, and many of these guys are freaking awesome. You've got your standard ones like the young Tyrannosaurus whose mouth moves when you choke on its neck, as well as a large Pachycephalosaurus that's head pops up like a turtle. There were really only two Stegosauruses made in the original Kenner line. This one here from the original line doesn't do much, but it stands pretty well next to the others, as well as the one I used to have from The Lost World, whose tail moved. Personally, the Lost World version is a better toy. And of course, let's not forget the Triceratops with its squeezing ram head action. This is personally one of my faves, even though I've only recently owned it. It's a fun piece in the collection. However, the best piece in my collection are these two bad boys here, with the Thrasher and Bull T-Rexes from the Lost World. Now, I never owned the original Red Rex when I was a kid, but if I managed to ever get one, I don't think it would match the nostalgia I have for these two old friends. Hell, these two seem more valuable than the original Red. The Thrasher T-Rex is a great toy as you can grab its tail and thrash it around, allowing its neck to move back and forth. Now, I've had this guy since I was a kid, and as you can see, it was in need of major repair work. I had to cut him open and repair the mechanisms in the neck and then patch him back up. And as much as the value is gone in this guy, I still love it. And then of course there's the bull, and this guy is freaking huge. His gimmick is basically that he eats all your action figures and you can cut him open to pull them out. So while the gimmick is not much to talk about, the sculpt is amazing and I freaking love both these toys as a great memory holder of my childhood. However, there are other toys out there like these hand puppets I own, as well as other figures and lines in the Jurassic Park legacy, which sadly don't hold up as well. Some of the toys unfortunately don't last long as others, like the animatronic Spinosaurus. And when Jurassic World came out, I didn't even bother with the toys because my god are they awful. These toys alone were a major disappointment for the fans and some stated them to be made cheap and break easily, which is just plain sad. But as as Malcolm said, Life, uh, finds a way. Just this year, in time for the original film's 25th anniversary, and with the release of Fallen Kingdom, Hasbro surrendered the license and the reins were handed over to Mattel, who have started to show off much better quality items with their franchises. I mean, I know Justice League isn't good, guys, but HOLY FUCKING SHIT I WANT THAT FUCKING BATMOBILE! And it was a real surprise that the latest Jurassic toys have gotten the best treatment since the Kenner days. Now, while I haven't obtained any myself with only the wonderfully sculpted Gallimimus figure, seeing so many fans love these new toys gives me hope for the future of the franchise, and at some point, I might pick a few up when they're at a local thrift shop. But overall, in this video, I just wanted to share my memories and love for my childhood. The Jurassic Park toys are a true marvel to behold. If you were a kid growing up in the 90s and still have them lying around in a dusty attic, I'd say take them out of those old boxes and proudly have them displayed in your home. And if you're a kid growing up now with the new movies, I highly recommend grabbing the new Mattel line. These toys are truly nostalgic and have an amazing quality, coming in at a nostalgic 10 out of 10. While Kenner might be extinct, the future of the toys have truly found a way and will continue for 65 million more years to come. And with the toys and games out of the way, it's time we take a look at another bit of material from the Jurassic Park legacy. So tune in next time when we go on a river adventure with Jurassic Park, The Ride.